Hi viewers, here we have our P45 series of glass reinforced nylon bodied differential solenoid valves. They're available up to from quarter inch up to inch and a half. Um, come with IP65 weatherproofed in plug and coil. Now these are, it's a differential solenoid valve, so these are good for any application where you're going to achieve a differential thing, such as downstream of a pump, mains, water, compressed air lines. Anything where you've got that differential is okay. Things that you can't use it for is applications such as um, tank drain, low pressure applications, vacuum, things like that. This is not the right valve for. It comes with a Phyton diaphragm, so it's compatible with a quite a wide range of uh, chemicals and media. And just check Phyton's compatibility before using this valve and also check the body material which is glass reinforced nylon and check the armature and armature is, is this great stainless steel that's magnetic. Now we'll take this apart just to show you how it works. I'm going to take this top nut off. I can slip the coil off. What we're left with now is just the body and the operator. Now, just a note on nylon, and specifically, we've got a glass reinforced filler in here. It makes it a, a bit stronger, but you can crack it if you over tighten the ports here. You can crack the body. Now, if we undo these bolts, we can get into the guts of the valve. So, as I take this off, you'll notice that underneath there's a spring and a diaphragm. Now this spring it keeps the diaphragm closed and one of the other reasons why it's differential pressure is you've got to overcome the spring. So not only you've got to push the diaphragm up, you've got to push that, compress that spring into the roof of the top of the valve. If we take that spring off and have a look at the diaphragm. A couple of important things to note here is the two holes in the diaphragm. Now this one with the dog ear out the side, that's the one that bleeds off downstream. And this smaller one that you'll just see in the middle of the diaphragm is the bleed on. So the pressure comes through, around and onto the top of the diaphragm here, through this little hole. Now it can't escape because in the closed position the operators sealed off this little bleed off hole downstream. So the pressure sits on the top of the diaphragm and keeps it closed. When you operate, the valve, the electromagnetic field is created which pulls the armature up in the operator, clears this hole and the bleed off hole is bigger than the bleed on hole so the pressure goes off and downstream and consequently the diaphragm is raised to the roof and you get flow through your valve. Let's put that one back in place. When you're putting the spring back if you're maintaining, it's also important to main for maintenance that these holes are clear. But make sure the conical side of the spring goes down and it sits on there. One thing to note here on the valve is you can see on the roof of the valve here is the direction of flow. This arrow that that's indicates direction of flow. It must be installed with this direction of flow, otherwise it won't work properly. Now if we have a look at the operator of the valve. Do it out of here. Now the thing to note is the jet in the middle. That is where the operator sits on to seal off, which means your pressure can't escape downstream. Let's bleed off here. And the small hole to the right of it, just in there, is the bleed on. That's where the pressure comes up and through, sits in here, can't escape in its normal position, put power to it, the operator lifts off the seat here and your pressure will bleed off. Now the operator itself, if you look here, it's got a Viton seat on it. That's what sits on the jet on the top of the valve. And if we slide it out, we'll have a spring in the top. Now that spring here, is what keeps this operator sitting on that jet to keep it as a normally closed valve. So when you put power to it, 
the coil creates an electromagnetic field and pulls this operator up off the seat and you'll get your flow through. Another point here is the Viton O-ring around the side. When you put it back together, make sure you don't pinch that O-ring.